Take News 12 now at 5.30. Your news now. News 12 Now's Kate Levins introduces us to those working to make a difference in your community with Kay. Welcome back to News 12 Now at 5.30. In your news today, we are talking to Chattanooga Fire Chief Phil Hyman. He is definitely someone who makes a difference right here in our community each and every day. Hi, Chief Hyman. Thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about what's going on with the fire department right now. You have seen a lot of fires. Um, is this unusual for this time of year? I know when you have a change in season, it means new challenges for firefighters. Talk to us a little bit about it right now. Yeah, unfortunately, it's been a busy time for us. Uh, uh, folks have had uh, quite a few fires. Uh, we've even had a rope rescue at the Greenway Farms again, and uh, it's just been a busy time for us. Uh, our business kind of comes in waves. Uh, sometimes it's busy, sometimes it's not. And unfortunately, it's been uh, pretty busy here lately, and the firefighters have done an outstanding job problem solving and working their tails off to, to help our community stay safe. We hope it's not busy this weekend, but we know there's going to be a lot of folks that are going to be outside grilling. Give us some safety tips for folks out there when they're going to be outside with their family and friends. Yeah, everybody loves to, to, to grill out. Uh, we just ask that you just keep your grills away from any kind of combustible materials, uh, particularly the siding of the house, uh, the deck, the, uh, the deck railings and that kind of stuff. We've uh, seen it time and time again where people are grilling. Uh, up under awnings uh, near vinyl siding um, and end up catching a building or a structure on fire. So just ask you to be careful there. Uh, if you're using gas grills, make sure that the gas supply is hooked up correctly and doesn't have a leak. And then uh, the folks that use charcoal, uh, make, make sure that when the fire, when you're done cooking, that uh, you put the fire all the way out. We ask that you just kind of soak it in water. Uh, that way it doesn't sit there and linger and stay hot and potentially catch something else on fire. Some great advice as we are heading into Memorial Day weekend. We want to get an update now on the Fire Academy, the 2021 Fire Academy. I know they're eager to get out and help put, um, stop to many of those fires out there and rescues to help so many folks right here in our community. Tell us how they're doing. I'm sure they're ready. They're doing really good. They just completed their medical portion of the Fire Academy. Uh, they got to see Life Force land and how to load patients into the helicopter if we ever have to use that. And uh, now they're trying to move into the fire stuff. Uh, so they get to learn how to practice putting their gear on, uh, putting their air packs on, doing their dress out drills, uh, a lot of PT. Uh, but now they're, in, they're entering into a phase where they get to really learn the firefighting craft uh, as a whole and looking forward to that. And I know they're excited about it as well. Such amazing things they do in our community each and every day. Also, you're hiring for the next Fire Academy, the 2022 Fire Academy. If folks are at home and they want to join, how do they do it, Chief Hyman? They can simply go to Chattanooga.gov and go to our website and uh, fill out the applications there. And we're always looking for folks uh, to join our family, um, the family of service. And uh, we're always looking for uh, folks to get them there. So if anyone's interested in looking for a career you know, in, in the fire industry, uh, it's a good place to do it. It's, it's a really good department. A lot of outstanding folks work here. And uh, I really think uh, if it's something that, that you're interested in, I, I encourage you highly to apply. You do have a lot of folks who are outstanding, as are you. Thank you so much, our Chattanooga Fire Chief, Phil Hyman, for joining us this evening and updating us on what's going on in our community. Thank you, Kay. Have a good night. You too. If you would like some more information on this interview, just check out our website at WDEF.com.